Now, first this morning, today marks three years since the United Kingdom officially left the European Union. After a four-year campaign from the calling of the referendum to its conclusion three prime ministers later. It was a long and at times painful journey for both sides, who saw their hopes slipping and growing at various points throughout those years. I'll never forget that first extending of the Brexit deadline. The evening Theresa May said that she would compromise with Jeremy Corbyn, willing to throw away our ability to make independent trade deals, the calling of the 2019 European elections, years after the country had voted to leave. There were some remarkable moments over those young, long years. And at the core of it all, a rotten, hung parliament stymieing the process, refusing to make any decisions. At last, at the start of 2020, there was a parliamentary majority that could make decisions. And that led to, finally, the country's exit, just one month after the general election result. And clearly a lot has happened since. Just two months after the UK left, one of those plagues that I'm fairly sure the Remain campaign warned us all about struck Europe as it did the world. Consequently, the data that we have after Covid is fuzzy distorted by that plague and, indeed, by war on our continent. It may be some time before we can really see the benefits of regulatory divergence or, indeed, take advantage of them. But in the meantime, it is possible to... Or is it? Is it possible to move past those old Brexit divisions and be more positive about the new opportunities that we can now grasp?